Scene 9. Rebellion. In her office, Pam is talking to one of the souls in a jar. Hey. I don't know if you can hear me. But can I talk to you for a quick sec? I think I know what it's like to live in a jar. Does that sound crazy? It probably does. If you're probably like, hey, some of us are actually living in jars here. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm like pretty sure you can't hear me, but still. This place feels like a jar. Like, we tell you, you have to listen to us, so you do. You don't know any better. And I was told I had to be a harbinger, so I, I just became one. And then suddenly you turn around and you're trapped. I don't want to live in a jar forever. And when I say forever, I mean forever. Eternity is like huge, you know? I, I can't handle that much time. Like, what? Do you get what I'm saying? Probably not. You're just a human soul trapped in a jar. I'm trying to say... I don't know what I'm trying to say. Mariana is so much better at saying things than I am. I wonder how she would put it. See? I told you. I told you she was... doing something. You don't even know what I'm doing. But we know it's something heinous. I'm literally not doing anything. We need to find a way to get you back in line. I'm still in line. Mostly. Your numbers say otherwise. You haven't taken a single soul from Barnes Creek. Well, that's because... Did you make your decision? No. Disappointing, as usual. How am I going to deal with you? How would you like it if I called you by your real name? My real name is Pam. That's not the name you were given. That's because the creator never finished naming me. P. Technically, your name is P. That's not a name. It's a letter. Oh, we are all well aware. But it is what you were given in place of a name, so it's really what we should all be calling you. P. 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 How does that feel? Bad. Hmm? It feels bad! All right. Good. Just a reminder for you. A reminder that I'll never be as deserving as everyone else? No, but if you got that out of it too, then good. I just wanted to remind you that I can make you feel bad whenever I choose. Well, maybe I can do the same thing. Pam smashes a jar on the ground. It becomes a guy. Whoa. What happened? You were dead. Now you're not. Get out of here! Sick. He runs off. You didn't. <laughs> oh, I did. And you know what? I'll do it again, actually. She drops another one. Those are human people. Yeah, dead people. She starts throwing more on the ground. More souls become people, and those people are confused and start causing general chaos. Lucian joins her. Lucian! Sorry, that was... I, uh... Just had to try it. Feels good, right? Yeah, actually. I mean... No. No, it doesn't. Pam sweeps the whole shelf with her arm, knocking over a whole slew of jars. I always expect you to fail, Pam, but I never expect you to be malicious. You, who's read all of the pamphlets... Do we have a pamphlet for when someone is being a cold-hearted bitch? Yes, actually, we do. She holds up the pamphlet. <sighs> Shut up, Sara! You have made a mockery of everything we do. Yeah, because what we do is stupid. No, not stupid. It is manipulative and wrong. You are very rude. You know what's rude? The fact that I was only named one letter! That's pretty fucking rude if you ask me! My creator can shove it. You take that back. I said what I said. Pam, do you know where the cheap souls go? What do you mean? When we get a soul who's really just disgusting, do you know what we do with them? No. How about I show you? What did that mean? Souls that we can't sell get punished. Did you know that? That's... that's not a thing. That, that's never been a thing. Oh, that's right. It was my idea. 
And you know what? It was a good one. Punished how? They're sent to a chamber in which their worst fears are realized. Oh no. Oh god, oh no. Have fun. <laughs> Scene 10. Punishment. So, what is your worst fear? Being patronized. The Alpus melts into the torture chamber, which looks kind of like if a high school production of Hairspray was put on in hell. Stop! Everything stops. Okay, fine! You win! I'll do it! Do what? I I'll kill one of them. But I, I, I thought you said they yeah, were- Yeah, I know. But do I have a choice? This is what I've always been. A harbinger. And I'll never be anything else. And I know that now. I- I know, but- You get whatever you want, okay? You don't even have to work. You're big and strong and masculine and confident and no one ever questions you because they think you know what you're doing. Well, people question everything I do. You've never had to prove anything to anyone. So you're not exactly in a position to be giving me advice. I, I'm, I'm not going to give you advice. You're not? No. You told me you were sick of people giving you advice, remember? Yeah, I did. I was just going to say, even if you do do it, it's not going to change anything. This isn't fair. I mean, you were here the whole time and your greatest fear didn't even appear. Oh, it did. What is it? Being irrelevant. Scene 11. Mariana's refusal. Mariana is standing on the edge of the train tracks, looking at them as we've seen her do in the past. We hear a train horn in the distance. Hey, what's going on? Not much. Cool. Because I've been I feeling... I have to kill you. <laughs> Wait, what? I have to kill you. What do you mean? It's my job. I'm sorry. You're joking. No. You can have a pamphlet if you want. I mean, I'm not really supposed to give them out until after, but... She hands Mariana the pamphlet. She looks it over, then rips it apart. Can you please be straightforward with me? For once? I know it's a lot to take in, but... You have to believe me. It's my job to take people, and I need to take you. I believe you. Really? Yeah. Cool. The sound of a train horn in the distance. Is that why you've been here this whole time? Because it's your job? No. I've been here because we became friends. We're not really friends. We don't even know each other. But, but what about when we talked about how sad we were? We can both be sad and still not be friends. Miserable people can still hate each other. Do you hate me? That depends. Are you going to kill me? Yes. Train horn. Not so far away. I don't hate you. But I don't like you either. You're just some weird girl who came into my life who's now apparently going to end it. How are you so... okay with this? How is anyone okay with anything? You have to sign this. Wait. That's it? Don't I get to die first? Well, technically my job is to take your soul, not to kill you, so we're skipping a bit here. I'm not gonna let you take my soul unless I'm actually dead. You have to kill me first. That's how it works. Come on, I'm not... I'm not gonna actually kill you. That's, that's not what I do. Then I'm not gonna sign it. But... If you want to kill me, then kill me. You push me onto those train tracks. A very close train horn. I can't do that. Then I'm not coming. I need you to. I'll lose my job. Okay, we'll make a choice. I can't. Train horn, very close. Make a choice. Okay. The train goes by. Both are obscured from our view. When the train has passed, Mariana stands on the platform alone. Scene 12, decision. Pam returns to the dark realm. Lucian is sitting in her office waiting for her. So? I have an idea. Did you do it? I have a better idea. So you didn't do I it? I want to be human. What? I don't want to do what we do anymore. But why? Why now? I found out what it was like to have a friend. Or what it might be like to have a friend one day. 
And I don't want to give that up to go back to meeting people and then lying to them and selling them. Besides, nothing I do has any meaning unless I know that it's all going to end. I saw how happy Matt was when I returned him, and I want that too. So, are you coming with me? Um, no. Oh. Wait, really? No. Sorry. Okay. It's just, I'm good at my job. No, you're not. Yeah, but people think I am. So, you're just gonna stay? This whole time I've been going through a huge identity crisis and you haven't changed at all? Oh, no, I have. You convinced me to stop pouring milk directly into the cereal box. That's it? No, I, I think you're right. I never questioned what we did before either. And you do now? A little. I'll never have power to do anything about it. But I might. Do you think so? No. <laughs> But I might as well try to find out. Okay. I'll miss you. I cannot believe you are letting her do this! Sara? Have you been hiding in my office this whole time? Yes. Because I knew that as soon as you came back, y you would- Can you just, like, give it a rest, Sara? What? I'm done. But- <laughs> but you- but you can't be. Th that's not how it works. I've been around here way longer than you. Maybe you'll come around eventually. Besides, aren't you tired of spending your whole life comparing yourself to me? But... But, uh... Come on, Sara. Let's get back to work. For the first time in maybe the whole play, Sara is silent. I just... Uh, I don't- I don't get it. I, I don't get why you want to leave. I don't know if I can explain it. Boss! Boss, get in here! This had better be important, Sara. Oh, it is. Pam is trying to become a, a mortal. Oh, okay. Well, aren't you going to try to stop her? Why would I do that? Because... B because it's... Uh, that's not what, what we're supposed to do. Uh, can't you fire her? Uh, what about the whole thing about how if we leave our job, we have to deal with the unimaginable pain? Uh, from the training video. Yes. The pain of mortal existence. That's the punishment for being fired? Yes. And if for whatever reason Pam wants to inflict that on herself... I suppose that's really her business. So, you're just gonna let me leave? Sure. Okay. Then, uh, bye. Bye, Pam. I'll miss you too. I won't. I think you will. A little. She leaves the dark realm forever. Scene 13. Return. Mariana, Matt, Kevin, and Kendra are working at the office. Hello, interns. Not interns. I have some exciting news. We are all getting bonuses. Really? No, just me. I was using the royal we. Just wanted to remind you that if you work hard, great things will happen. He leaves. They continue working for a long moment. Pam bursts in. Everyone stares at her. Mariana smiles. Blackout. Scene 14. Epilogue. Once again, we see the jar shelf illuminated. A hand, though we can't tell whose, places a jar on the shelf. Darkness. End of play.